This is the binary vapor cycle. This is our boiler of mercury cycle, and this is a turbine for mercury cycle and heat exchanger for mercury cycle and a pump. So we are going to draw the graph. So we are going to draw the graph. PS diagram. This is T, which is its temperature and entropy. For mercury cycle and for water cycle. So from so from one to two is the turbine work as you see here. From 1 to 2 is a turbine work which we get WS1. So 1 to 2 is a turbine work and the 2 to 3, 2 to 3, this one is 2 and this is 3. 2 to 3 is the heat rejected out from the heat exchanger of mercury cycle. As you know that the boiling point of mercury is about 300 degrees centigrade or more than that. And for water, it is uh, approximately 100 degrees centigrade because there is some impurities is contained in the heat exchanger. And this is the 3 to 4 is the pump work which is represented by WP1 here. And this is the work which is done by the boiler 4 to 1. 4 is here and 1 is here. 4 is one is the boiler work of mercury cycle and this is hg cyc cycle and now we are going to work the water steam cycle from 4 to 5 is a turbine work as you see here 4 to 5 is a turbine work which we get ws2 for steam side turbine this one is 4 and this one is 5 4 to 5 is a steam work and 5 to 6 is a Condenser work as you see that in the condenser the steam is converted into the liquid water when it passes through the condenser and the 6 to 7 is the work done by the pump to raising the pressure of a water and the 7 to 4 is the work done by the heat exchanger heat is gained by the steam by the water water which coming here and it is gaining heat from the heat exchanger of mercury cycle and it is converted into steam and it goes to in the steam turbine with a high velocity this is the steam cycle as you know that efficiency is equal to work done and it is divided by heat supplied and the work done is the q1 is the heat given to the system and q2 is the heat rejected to the system which is divided by q1 the heat supplied when we getting heat to the system so we can also write it in another way 1 minus q2 by q1 now we are talk talking about the for mercury for hg or Hg efficiency is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1 Q2 is here which is heat rejected out from the heat exchanger and Q1 is here heat given Q1 is here heat given so the efficiency for mercury cycle for Hg cycle and for steam cycle Efficiency 1, efficiency 2 by steam cycle. 1 minus Q3 by Q2. Q3 is here. Q3 is the amount of heat going out from the system. This is the heat going out from the system from the condenser Q3. 
and the Q2 is the heat given to this, the system by the heat exchanger of Mercury cycle and the boiler for the steam cycle 1 minus Q3 by Q2 so the overall overall efficiency of Mercury cycle is and not is equal to 1 minus 1 minus not efficiency of uh, the micro cycle is multiplied by 1 minus efficiency of steam cycle this is our overall efficiency of mercury cycle